Hey guys, tonight I'm going to explain the differences between a single action and a double action revolver. Alright, so we'll get a pretty good look here at the two guns. Um, the single six is a, it's really a good representation of a, a single action revolver. Um, really, any, any single action is going to be very, very similar to this. It's based loosely on the, uh, I believe the Colt single action army, but of course this is a little 22 caliber. And here the, the GP100, same deal, um, really good representation of a double action revolver. You know, any double action that you use is going to be very, very similar to this, whether it's a Colt or a Taurus or, you know, any of those. They should all function very, very similarly. But there's really four key differences between these two revolvers. And the first... Um, really main difference between a single action and a double action is really just the way that you shoot it. So, um, you know, you always check to make sure it's unloaded, this gun's unloaded. But the way you shoot a single action is you, you have to cock it. So, you cock it and you pull the trigger. Um, if you were to just pull the trigger on this gun, nothing would happen. So yeah, so it's really got one single way to shoot it, which is why it's called a single action. Whereas the uh, the GP100 here, the double action, you can of course shoot it in single action mode, or you can uh, you can shoot it in double action mode, which would be if you were to just pull the trigger, and you'll see the hammer just cocks, hammer just cocks itself right there. So um, this, this is going to be a lot more maybe practical um, if you wanted to shoot off a whole lot of rounds, but in all reality, um, I'm probably, like most people out there, um, I shoot both of these guns in single action. I, I, I don't really like to shoot it in double action because the trigger is so stiff and so long. Um, you can see when you cock it back, the trigger will actually move back so now it's sort of like a hair trigger you just kind of just kind of touch it and it goes off where we're in double action mode you have to really pull it so a little bit harder to shoot in double action personally i think the second difference between the single action and the double action would be the way that you load it so the single action um has a little loading little loading gate here you might call it so you flip it open and close it there you flip it open and then you rotate through and load each one one at a time here the cylinder though does not move to the side or anything so it's not really too bad to load but it can be a little tedious the double action has a button here which actually pushes the whole cylinder off to the side so We'll show that again up close. A button pushes the cylinder. So here, you can just load all six of your rounds, close it, and you're ready to go. And that really brings me to the third difference, which is the, um, the way you unload it. So the same sort of situation here. To unload this, you flip the little lever open and you, you have to cycle through one at a time. And what I'm doing here on the other side of the gun, you'll see a little bar come out. So I'm basically rotating and then I'm pushing this ejector lever right here. So if I rotate to a cylinder, you can see the lever free, goes freely. So unloading is is again, it's a little bit tedious, but if you're not in a hurry and you're just target shooting, not too big a deal. The double action is much improved for unloading. So to unload a double action, you've got this ejector, pushes all six out at once. So you're done, you pop it open, press it, and it unloads. And then of course, really there's, there's really just one other difference um, that I can think of, and it's, it's relatively, minor um, but the the handle design on a single action 
is almost always this traditional plow style design. It looks called a plow because it looks like an old plow that a farmer would use. And when you shoot these guns, this is just a 22, so it doesn't have a lot of recoil, but when you shoot it, it'll it'll actually cause it to lift a little bit more than um, a more modern design. And I think that's actually in some ways on purpose because as it lifts, your thumb is ready to go and cock it again, pull the trigger. Um, the more, you know, the double action, the more modern design, uh, it, it pushes that recoil more directly into your hand. So you can shoot it, it's still gonna lift, but it's not gonna lift nearly as bad as the, the single action. So in a large caliber, like a, you know, a 44, um, something that's gonna have a lot of recoil, uh, the, the double action's probably gonna be just a little bit more easy to shoot. I can't vouch as to whether it's more fun or not, that's up to you, but just maybe a little bit easier to kind of hold down. So between the single and the double action, what's the best gun for you? That's a good question. And I think it's kind of a hard one to answer. I, I like both the single and the double almost equally, but in different ways. This kind of has like a classic cowboy feel um, where this one, it still kind of has a little bit of a cowboy feel, but it's just a little bit more modern to, to work with. It's easier to unload and load, but of course then you go through more ammunition, which sometimes that's not necessarily a good thing, but both very, very fun guns to shoot. If you've never shot a revolver, um, you probably should go try. And honestly, um, I've had the semi-automatics and the revolvers, and once you start shooting a revolver, it's really hard to want to shoot anything else. They're about the most fun guns out there to shoot. So there's really the, the differences between the two guns, single action, double action. Uh, hopefully this helps you out. Um, if you like it, subscribe to my channel, at Cool Things Guys Like channel, and have a good night. Thank you.